This series of short videos brought to you by the Energy Saving Trust will explain the basics about electric vehicles, their benefits and how to drive them more efficiently. My name is Robert Llewellyn and I've been driving electric cars for the last seven years. I've driven over 150,000 miles in them so I know they work. But how suitable are they for businesses? More and more businesses across the UK are investing in electric ultra low emission vehicles. While they're discovering that the initial cost may be slightly higher, the cost of running the vehicles is definitely much cheaper, especially if they're charged on an off-peak nighttime rate. A good guide to the fuel savings that are possible is £100 saved for every 1,000 miles driven. The range of modern battery electric vehicles is continually improving and a range of 100 to 200 miles is becoming the norm, making them suitable for many fleet uses. If your fleet drivers regularly drive longer distances, then plug-in hybrids or extended range electric vehicles may be the best choice. Today I'm at the offices of ALD Automotive in Bristol, a leading vehicle leasing company that has worked with many business fleets to encourage the switch to ultra-low emission vehicles. They have recently constructed a new head office in Bristol that has included electric vehicle infrastructure as a core part of the design. The result has been an integrated system that takes into account a variety of factors, including charging requirements of vehicles, number of vehicles, electricity supply and future proofing for increased demand and changes to charging requirements, such as faster charging. They have also added solar panels to the office roof to increase the amount of renewable electricity for vehicle charging. Well, we've been in electric vehicles for about seven, eight years now since the, the first LEAF came out and it was always important for us to have charging facilities here as we knew the, the market was going to develop and it was something we were going to be involved with. So it was a logical step to have the charge points put in from the start but also give us the availability to, to grow as we took more electric vehicles in the future. So we've got six charge points at the moment, we're having another six fitted before the end of the year and then the rest of the car park has conduit all around it wow. so that we can just add more chargers as we take more vehicles. What are the other advantages for businesses? I mean, for, for example, tax breaks or subsidies if they go for a sort of pure electric or an ultra low emission vehicle? The key one at the moment for the driver is the benefit in kind saving. So you're paying 9% uh, benefit in kind on a sub 50 gram CO2 vehicle, right. whether it's a FEV, whether it's pure electric. As long as you charge it, you can get the benefits of the fuel economy as well. Yeah. But it is a case of the vehicle's got to be right for the driver. And what about maintenance then? Because that's certainly something I've experienced with electric cars is the maintenance yeah. is just, it's just less. With a pure electric, it's, it's fantastic. You've got a spinning motor and a yeah. battery and, and that's all there is to it. So the maintenance side, especially on a three or four year lease, we haven't got to worry about clutches and spark plugs and things like that. So if you compare a like for like vehicle, uh, you take something like a Nissan EMV 200 versus a Nissan uh, NV200 diesel, it's about 50% of the cost of the diesel vehicle. 50% of yeah. the cost is, is in, in maintaining that vehicle, wow. yeah. That, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So for a business that's got lots of them, that's a massive cost. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, we see the same coming across to the cars. Right. Um, the FEVs, a little bit different, but yeah, pure electric, definitely massive yeah. maintenance savings. Yeah. yeah. There's an ever-increasing range of electric vans available which work well for a variety of businesses, delivery companies for example. Now many taxi firms are discovering that running electric taxis is not only good for the company image but saves them thousands of pounds a year in fuel and maintenance costs. Telematic systems can be used to plan in charge stops giving an opportunity for driver brakes and increased range. Many urban areas around the UK are now, or likely to be, subject to clean air zones. The impact of these zones will vary, but emissions charges for polluting vehicles and the implementation of low emission zones are likely. An electric vehicle is the obvious solution. It can help tackle air pollution and can save you money by avoiding these surcharges. Electric delivery vehicles like this are ideal for cities. No harmful tailpipe emissions, they're much quieter. They're also much, much easier to drive. No clutches or gears to worry about, lower maintenance costs and Many drivers, fleet drivers, have reported to the Energy Saving Trust that they find the experience of driving these vehicles much more relaxing than traditional vans. If you'd like more advice about whether ultra-low emission vehicles would work for your business, contact the Energy Saving Trust. They will review your fleet free of charge and then identify where plug-in vehicles would be appropriate and cost-effective.